guys, Hexer18, how's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over how to tether your um, Wi-Fi pineapple, which is right here, if you guys can see that. It's already connected and going right now. Um, I was up pretty late figuring out how to figure out how to network this thing on my Mac, actually. And this may help a ton of Mac users for you guys, because I was having a real hard time with the, the Mac uh, operating system trying to detect the internet sharing so that the internet is going through the pineapple and so that other devices when they connect to the Wi-Fi on it they will get that internet okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this I have the book right here and I'm gonna go over how to set it up in Linux as well so this is kinda like a video for both setting up the Mac and the Linux side and possibly I could do a Windows version for the virtual machine but um, just for now this is what I'm going to be doing so first things first you guys have to know is this Wi-Fi pineapple the Mark IV it has a 172.16.42.1 address okay and um, it's looking for uh, 172.142 uh, 116.142.142 okay as the default gateway it's looking for that system okay so um, I'm gonna be sharing you guys my uh, my uh, settings and everything that I use for this virtual machine because I prefer to use mine in backtrack I don't know about you guys but I like to use it in backtrack I would prefer to use everything on the Mac, on the uh, Mac side, but uh, apparently internet sharing doesn't work that way, okay? So, um, something to do with the hardware, there's a ton of people on the forums, on Hack5 forums, that were just having a ton of problems, I just said, there has to be a way to get this done on virtual machine, and I figured it out. So, I'm using VMware Fusion, I don't know about what you guys are using for your virtual machines, but in Mac, I use VMware Fusion. Okay, and then, um, and I heard Parallels works too. Someone else had said they have used Parallels and gotten it to work, but he didn't post very much of his settings, so I had to figure it out on my own last night, so I didn't get it done until maybe 4 in the morning. So, um, first things first, um, in your Mac settings, if you guys are running a Mac, okay, Linux people don't worry about this stuff, okay? Um, just Mac people. First thing you want to do is, of course, you want to do the internet sharing tab. Make sure that's checked. This is Mac OS X Mountain Lion, or OS X Mountain Lion. They dropped that word Mac, I forgot. OS X Mountain Lion, okay, this is the latest one. So, this is the latest video. Uh, internet sharing, right there, you want to check that box, okay? And then... As for um, the network, I had to move these things around because Ethernet would connect first before the Wi-Fi. So to do that, you need to click this little gear button, which is the settings icon, and then set your service order. Um, this was just, this is uh, really weird. I just figured it out on my own. This just messing around. It's a lot of tinkering, okay? And I happened to... All I did was drag my Wi-Fi from the very bottom, which is like between Ethernet, probably right below Firewire, actually. And I moved that up, just drag and drop up, and Wi-Fi should be above Ethernet, okay? Because then you want the Wi-Fi to connect first, and then you want that network to be shared with the Ethernet, okay? I'm sure it works either way, but um, this is how I did it, okay? So, um, this is what you want to do for your service order, okay? For what I did. It looks cleaner, too, for me, because I use Wi-Fi more than Ethernet. Anyways, so, um, Wi-Fi. <clears throat> My typical TCP IP settings is all automatic, using DHCP, okay? Everything is automatic. This is all coming from my router. Grabs the IP address from the DHCP server and on the router and automatically gives me an IP address. Throws me the 192.168.129. Okay? 
that's the IP address my system is okay and then the DNS I used a Google one um, I also have open DNS but I I was just doing a lot of messing around last night and I just this is what works okay <laughs> so just follow along with me here 8.8.8.8 okay and then um, I think that's about it Bank for the, that's for that's all for wireless okay now your Ethernet okay you want to set that to manually and then your IP address will be 172.16.42.42 like I said it's looking for that system that's the 42.42 .42. and that's how it explains in this guide as well that your computer system is 172.16.42.42 okay and then your subnet mask make sure everything is matching okay make sure your subnet mask matches with your Wi-Fi okay they have to be on the same su subnet or they're not gonna see each other cuz when I was typing too fast this was a zero and it was not seeing each other and I was getting really frustrated and then I was like oh mistype so gotta be very careful router leave that blank um, in here they left the, the uh, default gateway blank on the window system so I figured you know the router just leave that blank alright it works DNS 8.8.8.8 just like they said on the DNS preferred DNS server for the Windows version in this in this book that's what they set it for the DNS server is 8.8.8 .8 .8. okay and then once you got all that good just hit OK and it should both of these should connect to make sure your Ethernet's plugged in and it's all powered on okay and then um, go ahead and close out the settings for that because everything should be good you already have your sharing turned on you have your uh, network turned on okay all these are configured now good now for the VMware Fusion or whatever virtual machine software that you use this is what I did for my settings and I didn't know this this is a lot of messing around like I said just last night just looking around you want to create another removable device and how you do that you're gonna to have to do this when you don't have backtrack open or uh, another system running okay if you're trying to do this in Windows 2 whatever um, you're using a virtual machine make sure your settings you go in there network adapter there's this thing that says add device that I saw in the corner I didn't even notice that in the first place when I was using the VMware Fusion I click add network adapter and then that will add a whoops that will add a network adapter number two and then what I did was go in the network adapter one that would be my Wi-Fi because that's what I use for my Mac so my first one is my Wi-Fi so connect to bridged and then Wi-Fi not auto detect Wi-Fi okay that's what I use and then um, I don't think yeah I didn't change any of these options down here and then go back network adapter 2 same thing Ethernet go down the list okay and then now you got both your uh, interfaces that you need to set up for this backtrack okay or for what you're trying to do with the Wi-Fi pineapple um, and then once you got all that good, you can go ahead and start boot up your back your backtrack, and it should be good. Now all you have to do is just follow this book basically. You go to the wifi pineapple.com slash wp4.sh. Download that script. Or actually what I did was right in my terminal, I just said wget and then the uh, wifi pineapple.com slash uh, that wp4.sh script okay and this is what you need to set it up and this is right here is basically if you're a Linux user watching this this is exactly where you should be starting at okay when you plug in your device this is where you should be at you should be downloading the Wi-Fi pineapple script okay that you need to set up so you download this file which I already have it okay it'll download very quickly and there it is and it's yellow because I did this chmod plus x wp4.sh um, 
I know uh, some people are going to say something about that plus X with that. Hey, this is what the book tells me, and this is exactly what works for me. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, and then once you got that, you're going to have to run the script. Okay, wp4.sh. And when you run the script, it will automatically go through um, on the through a like a list of what you need to go through. Uh, it will tell you like. What do you want your pineapple net mass to be? 255.255.255.0, okay? And you just hit enter because it's already, it's supposed to be picking out your networks for you. And um, what you're going to be doing is when they go, you go through that list, mine happens to be when it says, it comes up to say interface between PC and pineapple, you say, uh, in my case, that would be F1, okay? Because it says PC the pineapple. That's what it is. My PC is 142, or 172, sorry, .16.42.42. And it's connecting to that 172.16.42.1, okay? And then um, your PC to internet would be the S0. Or whatever ether or uh, interface they're using, uh, Wayland one, uh, one or Wayland zero, whatever. Okay, this is exactly what it's set up for VMware Fusion for me. This is what it came up. Okay. Now, when you enter this one and then that one for uh, let's see interface between PC and internet. Okay. Once you enter that F zero. Press enter. It should pop up and pick up automatically your um, your uh, internet gateway. In my case, the 192.168.1.1. Okay, that is my uh, home router. Okay, that's what's going to be picking up the internet. And then the IP address host for PC should be still 172.16.42.42. The IP address of the pineapple. Should still be 172.16.42.1. Okay, should not to uh, enter anything for that stuff. Just press enter if it's already showing you what it should be. And then once you've done that, it'll show you like a cloud icon, a computer icon, and a pineapple icon. And then it'll say browse to 172.16.42.1 pineapple. Okay, and you can access that. And that's what I'm going to be showing you next. The only reason why I'm not going through the steps for the uh, the script is because I don't want to really screw up what's already connected. It's what is already working for this demo. So um, now all you gotta do is go to your Firefox and then type in HTTP slash slash one seventy two dot sixteen dot four two dot one slash pineapple. And there it is. They are getting prompted for the username and password. By default, in the back of this book, it says root and then pineapples are yummy. Okay? All together. Pineapples are yummy, but I changed my password. Okay. Oh, whoops. Pineapples are. I'm not spelling it right. Pineapples. Are yummy. Okay. There's the web interface. So, um, other than that, uh, that should get you guys started. Uh, just to give you a basic idea of if you guys needed to install any scripts, which I'll probably be going over that in another video because this is probably already long as it is. But um, this should get you guys set up for Linux right now and Mac. Um, if you guys needed anything else for settings wise, let me know. I'll probably be posting this on the Hack5 forums as well, just so that other people are informed because it seemed like they were kind of lost on there and a lot of people did not want to screw up their devices from what it looked like. And I didn't have to change any IP address or any settings in my, my pineapple. The only thing I've ever changed in my pineapple is probably the firmware update in the password that was it that's all I changed okay so 
Um, I think that'll be it. I don't want to keep this video very too long. Just wanted to show you guys how to set it up for Mac and Linux. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.